No. Guys, I will not stand for this. I refuse to see Sunderland crumble like this. Sunderland will rise once again. Hey guys, my name is Asper Trova, and as you can see there, Sunderland are in a bit of a situation. Now, they were in the top flight of English football, the Premier League, for the last 10 years, but recently, they got relegated, and now they're in danger of getting relegated again, back down to the Football League 1, the third division of English football, and our job is to save them from their impending doom. So. What we're going to do is we're going to completely flip the story around. We're going to take this Sunderland squad and turn it into a winning team. And in order to do that, we're going to need some time, definitely time, some money, and some really good, high-quality youth talent. So, the rebuilding, I guess, of Sunderland is what you could call it, has begun with Mr. Aspertrova, and now... We are going to rebuild Sunderland from the ground up. 24th in the championship. They're going right back up to the Premier League. I can promise you that. This squad is, it's kind of meh. But I put it out there to the best of my ability. 5-4-1 formation with Fletcher, McGeady, McNair, Kettermull, McMenamin, Matthews, Kone, O'Shea, Wilson, Oviedo. And Reuter, or Reuter, as our starting goalkeeper. This is what our bench looks like. And then this is our reserve. Now we have quite a few players on loan. I think we have about six players on loan. There's some of our better players too. But then we'll also be getting four very, very decent players back. At the end of their loan spells. As you can see, top three players are all out on loan. Wabi Kazri, Fabio Barini, and Papi Dilaboji. As well as uh, Didier Ndong on there. And that's all of the loanee players uh, that are out on loan right now. But here are the players that are loaned in at the moment. We have Lee Camp, Ashley Fletcher, which is unfortunate because he's our starting striker. Uh, Tyus Browning, Jonathan Williams, Ovi Muno, Jaira. I probably butchered that, but he's pretty good. Pretty sure he's on loan from Liverpool. We got Brandon Galloway, and those are all of the players on loan. So we're going to have to work with that. Make some signings with the 22 million, or it's, it was 22 million. I changed it down to 20 minutes so we can warm the wages, as well as the youth academy, which is what we're going to set up right now. Our first batch of scouts actually looks like this. Not too shabby. Five star judgment. That's the main thing I look for in the scouts. I think we're only going to get two scouts. And, well, this isn't that great. We'll just get Patrick Graham. Alright, let's send these two to scout out. So we're going to want to get some homegrown English talent. So we're going to have Roman Krylov go to England for nine months to scout us out some talent. And we're going to send... Uh, I'll close my eyes in random. I'll just mash the button and you hopefully you can hear that. Pick that nation. Scramble it again. And we get the United States. Okay. We'll send him there for three months and then he can come back. And he can provide us, hopefully, with some up-and-coming up American talent. I've also gone out and found some players that I believe would fit our squad pretty well. We have uh, Marcel Sarachi, the Uruguayan left back. He's pretty good. I've actually used him in past career modes that I have not shown on the channel or anything like that. We got Dale Fry, so as Reese Nelson, Amin Guerri. I'm probably going to have to learn how to pronounce that because I really want to sign this guy. Uh, obviously, in the January transfer window, I believe, so we can. We got Ben Woodburn, Miles VR, and Jules Kunde. So, these are just the seven that I would like to sign uh, right now, but we'll probably look into some immediate solutions to our squad as well. Anyway, guys, we're going to be playing the preseason tournament in this episode. Our very first preseason game is up against FC Michelin. No idea how to pronounce that. In our group, is also FC Barcelona B. We've been put with the freaking B team and BSC Young Boys, so I'm going to show you the squad now for our very first ever game as Sunderland Manager. Alright guys, this is going to be our starting lineup up against FC Michelin, and our very first ever game as Sunderland Manager, we have Asoro starting up top, Lua Lua, which is, his, his name looks kind of weird there, usually EA would try to like, actually like, maybe put a dash in there or something, I don't know, but Ejira, 
Rodwell, and Watmore in midfield. We have Love, Kone, Browning, Clark Salter, and Brendan Galloway in defense, and then Lee Camp in goal. Let's see if we can get off to a very good start with our very first ever game of Sunderland Manager. All right, guys, here we go. Kicking off at, I guess, what could be considered home stadium. Here we go. First match in, uh, in charge, of, charge of Sunderland. God, hopefully we can make it a victory, even though it's only preseason. Already not looking very good here. Good block, Clark Salter. But still in. And, whoa. <laughs> I thought the goalie was going to get that. There we go. There's Love. Love breaking into the box. Shot. Oh, yes. It went in based off of sheer luck. But Lua Lua grabs our very first ever goal as Sunderland manager. And that is a fantastic celebration. Lua Lua. With a very, very lucky goal there. I just crashed in that, passed it across. Somehow, that didn't go in. But then, Lua Lua's knee is right there. And he makes a 1-0 to Sunderland. Kazenga Lua Lua. Oh, come on, Gooch. No, Gooch. Keep going, Gooch. Dang it, Gooch. It could have been in. Alright, don't mess this up. Embleton. Oh! 2-0 right before full time. It's Embleton. I think he's like 56 rated or something. That surely had to take a deflection, right? There's no way he can have a shot that good. But it is 2-0 to Sunderland regardless. Nice little kind of 1-2 play. And, you know, I don't think that actually took a deflection. But 2-0 to Sunderland. Elliot Embleton. Guys... We have won our first game in charge of Sunderland. 2-0 over the Dan Danish team, I think. FC Micheland. Very, very decent performance. Uh, goals coming from Lua Lua and Bimbleton. Or Embleton, excuse me. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the squad names, but yeah. Good result. And yeah, overall good performance. Okay, guys. Now into the next game against BSC Young Boys in the preseason tournament. This is going to be our starting lineup. We have Maja up top, Lua Lua, Robson, Williams, and Honeyman in the midfield. Jones, Kone, O'Shea, Clark Salter, uh, Clark Salter, and Matthews in the defense. And then we have Steele in goal. Let's go out there and get a second win as Sunderland manager. All right, guys. Kicking off, we have the away team this time. Uh, even though it doesn't really matter. Let's go out there and get another win. Oh no, guys. Oh no. Look what I've just done. The most horrific own goal. <laughs> oh my god. That is one awful own goal. It was by the substitute, Aiden McGeady, as well. So, as you can see here, ball gets whipped in, steals off his line. McGeady shoulders it into the back of the net, and Steel can't do anything about it because of his poor positioning. Come on, Maja. Into the box. Honeyman, shoot Honeyman, yes, 1-1, one, one. Honeyman with the tying goal, and we were not behind for an insanely long amount of time, we made up for Aiden McGeady's own goal with Honeyman, that's such a great name as well, look at this, Maja into Honeyman, and he turns, shoots, don't know if that was his weak foot or his strong foot, but whatever it is, it's a goal, George Honeyman equalizing for Sunderland. Matthews, cut back. There's Matthews. Ah, oh, dang. That could have been it. It's uh, attack's not over, though. There's Williams. Williams has a go. That's blocked as well. Last second corner, pretty much. Our BSC Young Boys. It's a good save by Steele. Now we gotta go. Come on, we can still get the win. There's Asoro. Ah, oh, he threw it away. Yeah, we're gonna come away with a draw here. Unless... Young boys get one more chance. And there's another shot right at Steele. I'm just going to punt that up. And there's full time. Only a draw against Young Boys. But it is a def decent enough result to carry us, I'm pretty sure, into the knockout stages. Alright guys, now time for the final group stage game of the preseason tournament up against FC Barcelona B. Don't get confused with the logo. So this is going to be our starting lineup. we got Asoro, Watmore, Gibson, Kettermel, McManaman, Love, Kone, Browning, Wilson, Galloway, and Reuter. So, let's go out there and 
pretty sure if we at least, well, right now we are qualifying. Young boys only have one point, and then um, who's on the bottom? Whoever the heck the first team we played is on the bottom. Uh, I can't tell. Remember who it was? I don't know. I forgot who it was. But now all we have to do is get a draw here, and we are in to the semifinals of the preseason tournament. So let's go out there and get it. All right, guys. In the Wald Stadium, kicking off against FC Barcelona B. Let's go out there and get a good result. I know that this team is extremely young. I don't think there's a player over the age of 25 on their team. And I know that they are full, absolutely packed full of great young talent. So, now all we have to do is win, which hopefully will not be a hard task, but you never know. There's already space opening. Oh, come on! Alright guys, we're doing pretty well early on here against the team that has won both their games so far. So, there's a chance. Lee Kettermole! Oh my god, how did that go in? The goalkeeper has just gone walkabouts there. Lee Kettermole. It looked like a really, really weird save animation. And I think that just screwed with his head because... Take a look at this. Just takes it. Has a shot. And yeah, look, he just, like, shifts to the side, and then he tries to, like, palm it away really awkwardly. But Lee Catermull grabs us the leading goal so far in this game. 2-0. Uh, that goal caught me a little bit by surprise, but we are now 2-0 up. It's a pretty good finish by Gibson, to be honest. Uh, wasn't actually expecting him to take it one time. You see here on the replay. Down the wing, right into the center, pinpoint ball. First time. Goalkeeper and the defender probably should have been doing better there. But, as you can see, pass the goalkeeper into the net. And now we are 2-0 up. Guys, there's a chance for 3-0. There's a chance for 3-0 here. There's Gooch. Lyndon Gooch. Ah, just too far. But that'll end the game pretty much. They don't have enough time to get one goal, much less two. Actually, the third still could be on here. Here's Oviedo. And it's cut off by Terran. And there is full time. We will be going to the knockout stages of the preseason tournament to get some extra cash. We're going to go see who we got drawn up against in the semifinals now. Alright guys, now this is going to be our lineup against the semifinal team that we're playing. AD Alcarson, I believe how it's pronounced. I think there is uh, uh, La Liga 1-2-3 team, or the second division of Spain. I Pretty sure I'm right about that. This is the lineup we're going to be using. Asoro up top, Lua Lua, Ijaria, Williams, and McGeady in midfield. Matthews, Browning, Clark Salter, Wilson, and Oviedo in defense. And then we'll, we'll keep with Reuter in goal. So let's go out there and advance to the finals and get some extra cash. Guys, here we are against Adi Akrasan. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but whatever. We're trying to get a win very... Er, whoa. I saw that there's a player down. There's already a player injured a minute into the game. What has happened here? Alcarsan are after an abysmal start. But we're trying to win. And we're going to take this to our full advantage. Alright guys. Here we go. Asoro. Slipping in. Williams here. And Williams for the goal. 1-0 to Sunderland. Only 22 minutes in. And it's Williams. Who unfortunately is only on loan with us. I believe from Crystal Palace. But... He has gotten us the goal. We are 1-0 up against AD Alcarsan. I have just witnessed some of the most abysmal goalkeeping I have ever seen. Lua Lua getting the goal. But look at this. Goalkeeper coming out. How is he allowing that to be scored at his near post? That is awful. But Lua Lua capitalizes. Again with the awkward save animation. But we're 2-0 up. Kazenga Lua Lua. That goal is probably... One of the weirdest animations I've ever seen in my life. But it went in regardless. 3-0 to Sunderland now. Kazenga Lua Lua yet again. And I just want you guys to take a look at this. Crossed in. What the heck is that diving header? But it finds the back of the net. Kazenga Lua Lua. Alright guys, we have a free kick situation here. I'm going to try a little tactic that I like to try. Right, we're going to have Kone over it, but we're not actually going to use him. Instead, we're going to lay it off for Oviedo. Oh, and it worked. It actually worked. What a shot 
from Oviedo to find the back of the net. And it's 4-0 to Sunderland now. They truly are a second flight Spanish team. But look at the rocket. Look at They could have blocked that easily. It was a thunderous shot finally in the back of the net. But Brian Oviedo getting us our fourth. And that free kick will pretty much signify the end of the game. Unless we can go and get a fifth right now. And uh, the ball is not good enough. They'll deal with that. And that will be the win. Sunderland for Akrasan nil. Great result. And we're on to the final. Let's go get that extra money. Alright guys. Now, this is probably going to be the last thing I do in this video. But it's time for the final. It's against KAS Yupin. No idea where they're from. Never heard of them before. But our strongest starting lineup is out there. I'm going to use this star, uh, strongest starting lineup, and hopefully we can get a decent result and beat them just like we beat El Corson and get some extra money towards our transfer budget. All right, guys, let's kick off the finals with a good start. We have now begun the European International Cup finals against KAS um, Yupin. No idea how to pronounce that. And hopefully it'll be a good game. Hope anyone won't go to penalties, because I am abysmal penalties. And we're 1-0 down. Already. This is not looking too good for us, guys. Yupin have sweated the ball into the net. Very, very sweaty. Look at this. Pass across the goal. What the heck is Ruder doing? No idea. But Lay had it laid on a plate for him. And we are 1-0 down. And by Lay for Yupin. Still losing this game, guys. We're trying to get back in, put it in a good corner. Only fell out to Cattermole. Wilson. Put that back out wide. Oviedo. All the way back. We could potentially work this into something. There's Matthews. Whoa! No foul? Seriously? Wow, that is some BS. Now it is really not looking good for us guys. We're 2-0 down. Against this team that really haven't been that great. They've just been able to finish and we have not. And that's the main difference here. This goal was not by any means necessary. I don't know where the heck our defenders went. Complete mess at the back. And they get their second goal through Luis Garcia. There's Catermol. Shot Catermol. No way. What a freaking block. This team's defense has been on lockdown. We've got to be getting a goal soon. Cattermall Fletcher. Come on, Fletcher. Aw, oh, dang. Come on, guys. Cattermall. Here's McMenaman. Get on your bike, McMenaman. Go. Have a shot. Oh, that's a great finish. Come on, get that ball. We are making a comeback right now. McMenaman got onto his bike. He was chased by this one guy. The entire time, but he nudged him off, and it was a fantastic finish by Callum McManaman. And now we just need one more to come back. Come on, here's Patty McNair, Williams, Rodwell, shot Rodwell, ah, oh, right at Crumbug. Come on, they're piling numbers forward. Not really, though. Here's Browning, McManaman, McManaman. No, what a save! Back in, Rodwell! Ball out to Patty McNair! Have one! No! Oh my god. Oh, our goalkeeper's up for the corner. Oh no, Crumbrug! What a save! Come on, Oviedo. And to Patty McNair! Crumbrug! What the heck? Why are why is he so overpowered? Oh, that's gonna be it. Miss Williams. No, that's it. We lose the final. I know it's just a preseason tournament, but that was such BS. We had so many chances. You saw we had like three chances there at the end to score. And Crombrug, their freaking goalie. Massively overpowered. And we come out second place in the preseason tournament. KAS win it. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this very first ever episode 
of our Sunderland career mode. And to end on a very disappointing note, I know. But, you know what? We'll, we'll bounce back. We'll bounce back in the season. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe while you're down there. Also hit that notification bell if you do want to know when I upload. But until next time, guys, I've been Esper Trova, and I'll see you guys next time.